on TMZ. Okay, so as promised, uh, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey went to Coachella and they were making out. Now, I don't want to seem unromantic, but <laughs> it feels a little performative to me. They're at Coachella, they're at a festival. That's what you do, you get drunk and you make out with people. Yeah, but you don't make out with the person you're with. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, he was at the famous Santa Monica Stairs. He's working out looking like he's fully healed from that Achilles injury. I mean, this is terrible, but do opposing teams go for his knee? First of all, it's his Achilles, it's not his knee. Well, it's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> the knee bone's connected to the Achilles bone. Sydney Sweeney. She was in Key West and she was doing uh, karaoke with her co-star, Hadley Robinson from Anyone But You. Open up the dirty window. She's the hottest person ever. She is crazy beautiful. It looks awesome though. They went to an ice cream shop after. Wait, do we have any video of her eating ice cream? You oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Famous Gordon Ramsay pub has now been taken over by a group of professional squatters. Squatting just means that if a place is unoccupied and some outsiders come in and occupy it, they actually acquire rights to stay there. Uh, this happens a lot with renters. Somebody rents a place for 30 days and then they just don't leave. How long do I have to sleep under the desk for this place to become mine? <laughs> 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 Twas the night of Coachella, and all over the place, Taylor and Travis could be seen sucking face! So Taylor and Travis were never not kissing at Coachella. We got tons of video and photos of them making out, dancing, so happy, and they definitely stole the show at Coachella. And when they weren't swapping spit, they were getting shout outs from Ice Spice! <laughs> They took their romance to the desert. I don't want to seem unromantic, <laughs> but I mean, they've been dating now eight months. It feels a little performative to me. It's definitely performative. They want to steal the show. You say that like they've been dating for so long. They're at Coachella, they're at a festival. That's what you do. You get drunk and you make out with people. Yeah, but you don't make out with the person you're with. <laughs> We give him a lot of crap, but God, is he right on this one. And it's not like you can blame Taylor. Have you seen Travis Kelsey? All you want to do is make out with his face, so she's doing it. <laughs> also, when you go to the desert, there's like some something in like the, the dirt that like makes <laughs> you like want to love harder. No, opinions of TMZ employees do not reflect that of the management, especially when they're blaming magical desert dirt for making out with strangers. Hope you had fun, TNT! Coachella is a great place uh, for friends to reconnect. Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith. We got a video of them kind of reconnecting at Coachella. Jaden sneaks up behind Justin, uh, grabs him in real close, and then Justin turns and gives him a big smooch. It's very romantic. It was yeah. weird. It was weird. Harvey, your take is actually probably more valid than anybody's here. Why is that? What do you mean? Because he's a gay man, so what, he can... what, what, what am I, so what, I'm gay? Am, am I supposed to judge what this no, is? No, 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 I'm saying people like saw the clip and say, oh, they're getting really close, it looks a little intimate. It's... What am I supposed to say? Say so seems awfully gay. I, I I don't understand what you mean. It's like, very he grabs him from behind and does like a... Justin, Justin immediately leaves in the kiss. That's his first instinct. Have you ever seen like straight guys kissing? A couple videos and that's it. <laughs> oh my god, it's the most shocking Coachella twist ever! Will Smith doing a surprise appearance during J Balvin's alien themed set and singing. He got the MRP! Coachella! Crowd was just loving it. It was it was kind of the best sort of like surprise guest. It is his. It's walking through that door finally from the slot. Exactly! Because who remembers this when he's out here doing this? Nah, nah, nah. The good guy dressed in black. Remember that? Just Oh, yeah! He should have just changed the lyrics to, hey guys, forget that slap. This was the great PR move of Coachella. It's a really smart move on his part. It's so nostalgic for people that he makes you forget anything. Unless he couldn't control himself and hit Jay Balvin. 
<laughs> he did not slap Jay or any backup dancers because they all kept his wife's name out their alien mouths. And now that he's gotten like a lot of applause from this, yeah. He sails again. Yeah. It's really yeah. smart. But no J Balvin fan in the audience would have been expecting it. Like, that, those two music genres are different. That, isn't he like very Spanish singing? Spanish singing. I, I don't know how to say it. He's reggaeton. It's because it was an alien themed show. But wasn't Men in Black 2 guys? Yes, but you expected Tommy Lee Jones to show up as well? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> well, not the song. Too bad. Dude can really rap. Now erase our minds over that slap forever, Will. Sing! Doja Cat crushed it at Coachella. And the best part is she had like six outfit changes. She had so many outfits and they were all incredible. So she had the fur bikini, hot. That's bizarre. The hazmat suit with dish gloves. This was the best. She did like a long hair extension and brought out like a bunch of other, it was like sexy Chewbacca's all on the stage. Katie, I think she's kind of missing the mark on what's sexy. Well, hold on, because now a page out of Bianca Sensori's book, she did like the condom boot. Now we're talking. <laughs> I don't know why it's like wardrobe is like a it's 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 a distraction. Right yeah, now. it's a lot of costume changes for like an hour. Yeah, show. bring out more surprise guests. We don't care about your furry boots. Exactly. But the one costume that she like the long hair where she brought out all the people with the long hair that was cool. That it looked really cool visually. It was awesome. Not to us. Why? No guy's fantasy is like, ooh, come out with more hair. Every time you talk, I become more of a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> If you think Sydney Sweeney is flawless, you're wrong because she just revealed her Achilles heel. Key West Karaoke. Open up the dirty window. That's Sydney doing karaoke dressed as a pirate because when in Rome, right? And people aren't too impressed by her vocal skills. Sydney Sweeney, she's very hot, but girl cannot sing. She was in Key West and she was doing uh, karaoke with her co-star Hadley Robinson from Anyone But You, and they're singing the song from the movie Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. So it's a little off key. West. Who cares? What she lacks in singing ability, she makes up in other aspects, such as... She's the hottest person ever. Okay, let's not get crazy here. She's proof of God. She's proof of God, yes. Amen! After karaoke, Sydney got ice cream with some other pirate friends, but all eyes were on her booty. And she's not trying to look sexy here as well. Like, pirates on a go-to, I want to look sexy today. Thing. Oh, I like a good pirate. A, you like it going on a pirate? Uh, yes, yeah. 100%. Oh. Keep your plank in your pants, fellas. So, thanks for the karaoke, Sydney. You reminded us of something very important today. Everybody's got one drawback. And if yours is not being able to sing Sweet Caroline or Don't Stop Believing, then life is pretty damn good. Now shiver me timbers us out of here, Sid! A famous Gordon Ramsay pub has now been taken over by a group of professional squatters. This is in Ramsay's York and Albany Hotel and Bar Restaurant in London. It's pretty famous. He had a lease from back in 2007, but apparently he's been trying to get out of it for some time, so not upkeeping the restaurant. And whenever there's a nice establishment now, squatters move in and a group of them came in and they're trying to get squatters rights to run like an artist commune. Squatter doesn't mean that they have ownership rights. What it means is they're treated like tenants and it's a hassle to get them out. Why don't you send the cops in there and they, pull they them out? They won't do it. The cops say it's a civil matter. You gotta go to landlord tenant court. So what if you just like wait for them to leave and just change all the locks? If you change the locks, it's called treble damages. The tenant gets three times the damages. That's insane, dude. Th this is a ridiculous thing. How long do I have to sleep under the desk for this place to become mine? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have been sleeping under the desk for some time now. Coming up. Rick Ross has inserted himself in the beef against Drake. He's accusing Drake of having plastic surgery. And Drake is accusing Rick Ross of using a weight loss drug. What? That's where rap battles have gone now? This, this is not the funny one. <laughs> Plus, Kesh is finally turning on Diddy, apparently. She came out at Coachella and did TikTok. The opening lyric is feeling like P. Diddy. She changed it. With two birds. Yeah, it wasn't a mistake. 
No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it didn't That's split. how we knew. Coming up. Aaron Rodgers, he was at the famous Santa Monica Stairs. Oh, we should oh, have been there. Like you would have yeah, been there. Yeah, we would have been there. Yes. Yes. Slowly climbing up. Be right back. It's Drake versus Rick Ross, the lamest hip hop beef ever. Rick Ross is accusing Drake of getting a nose job. And Drake is accusing Rick Ross of using a weight loss drug. We haven't seen beef this sad since the last E. coli outbreak. So Rick Ross drops a song called Champagne Moments Against Drake. Where he claims Drake got plastic surgery. You ain't never want to be a anyway. That's why you had an operation to make your nose smaller than your father knows. Does it seem? No. Well, uh, yeah. No, uh, no consensus. But Drake responded in the most hardcore way a rapper can by posting a text message with his mommy. The mom Rick says, Obs, the internet is saying you got a nose job. And then he wrote back, it's coming from Rick Ross. The guy did songs. He's gone loopy off the Manjaro. He hasn't eaten in days. But doesn't this beef sound more of like a beef between like housewives? Like, oh, you got a nose job. Oh, well, you're on Manjaro. They're one insult away from throwing Cristal in each other's faces. But then Rick Ross responded on Instagram. I just realized BBL Drizzy called his mommy on me. Tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. And Rick Ross keeps calling Drake white boy in the video, which is obviously racist because Drake is mixed race. It just seems that everybody's hating on Drake right now, and it's partially his fault. This Drake song that got released over the weekend, he dissed all of them. But maybe it has more to do with him being on top. Every song, every album he drops is a huge hit, so they all go after him, and they all see that it's good business. Glad no one's getting hurt. But can we think of something better than plastic surgery and weight loss? But anyway, big nose. Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright, the estranged couple from Vanderpump Rules and now The Valley, they had a birthday party for their son and things went south. They had a birthday cake that came tumbling down. Oh! oh. That's a buzz kill. And then the kid starts crying. That cake looks so good, it's funfetti. You can still eat it though, right? Because not all of it hits floor. That's actually really interesting. If you went to a wedding and the cake fell on the floor. Uh, definitely. That's a sign. It's a bad omen, 1,000%. Signs aren't a real thing. I believe in signs. If the marriage doesn't work out, does one of them say, I knew that from the cake? I don't know, mine didn't fall on the floor and our luck hasn't been great. <laughs> signs are like astrology. They always think signs are a thing. Always know the truth. There is, though. There's bad luck. Derek had bad luck at his wedding. She said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose luck that was. After allegations of sex trafficking and multiple FBI raids, Judgment Day has finally come for Diddy. In song! Case closed for Kesha at Coachella because she was Renee Rapp's surprise Sunday guest. Everybody put your hands together for Kesha! She came out and did TikTok, which in a way is kind of an homage to Diddy. The opening lyric is, Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Which is kind of means I have an awesome life. Yeah, so she changed it and said, with two birds. Yeah, it wasn't a mistake. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it didn't That's split. how we knew. How yeah. oh, the crowd react? It seemed like no one really gave a reaction, but it was also Sunday at like 3 p.m. What does that mean? People are just trying to survive on yeah. Sunday, man. After a night of Molly, you gotta whoop. Like you know. And speaking of being completely clueless. Renee Rapp's fans are very young. A lot of teenagers who are not that familiar with Diddy. Coachella this year felt like I love the night. Gwen Stefani, Kesha. But you've got Renee Rapp, uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Jeff Bezos was there with Lauren Sanchez. Well, uh, what doesn't fit? Is it Jeff's dress shoes? They do look snug. There should be an age cutoff though. That's BS. You're not allowed to go to live performances after what age? 35. Stay home, stream it on YouTube if you can figure out how to get the login or whatever. <laughs> hey, he streamed Tyler the Creator. He just thought he was interviewing a new web developer. Happy flipping Coachella, Kesha. 
Aaron Rodgers looking really good, looking like he's fully healed from that Achilles injury that he obviously sustained only four plays into the Jets season. He was at the famous Santa Monica Stairs. If people aren't familiar, it's, you know, a lot of people go there and work out. I'm not familiar, to be honest with you. <laughs> Thanks for being honest with us, because we thought you were joking. I did look it up, however. It's 170 stairs. He was working hard. He actually looked like he was about to puke at one point. I mean, he was he was really going at it hard. How hard is it for an NFL player to come back from Achilles? Hard, right? Well, you know what? The steps are the real test. If he could do the steps, He's healed. Oh, he looks good. No, he looks, his body looks good. Those steps are hard. So I have a question. I mean, this is terrible, but do opposing teams go for his knees? I think so. Yeah. No, no, no. Are no, you allowed no. to? I don't think so. First of all, it's his Achilles. It's not his knee. Well, it's all connected. <laughs> <laughs> what? The knee bone's connected to the Achilles yeah. bone. <laughs> Coming up. Victoria Beckham still has a broken foot after over two months. Now she has a scooter. Uh, the impressive part is uh, David put it together for her. Why does he have to put it together? Because it doesn't come all together. He attaches the bell, which is the most annoying bell in the world. A bell for a bell. Where do you go to get in the know? We've got a podcast for that. The TMZ podcast goes deep. The first thing that feds did when they entered, disabled all of the surveillance. While TMZ Verified talks social media trends. And don't sleep on the Swift D-Pod. We're obsessed. And so is she. Track 5 is her most emotional song. Finally, get to the hook where these guys geek out over music's iconic moments. TMZ Podcast, where you go to get in the know. Available everywhere now. Victoria Beckham still has a broken foot after over two months. Wait a minute, that's news, okay. Yeah, she, she broke it in the gym and so she's graduated from crutches to now she has a scooter. Uh, the impressive part is uh, David put it together for her. In the video, you see him put like, he puts the cup holder on, he attaches the bell, which is the most annoying bell in the world. Got a bell when I'm coming around the corner because I can, I can. A bell can... for a bell. This is what scares the crap out of me about retirement. Why? Why? Because you got nothing to do. They're on social media all the time doing these hijinks. Get a J-O-B. Why does he need a job? Because he was nice to his wife and he hangs out with his wife and he enjoys her behavior. If you didn't have a job and the only person you could talk to is Daniel and he doesn't have a job. I have to call him every day on the way home from work for a whole hour in order to have a conversation where a little kid is not interrupting me. You have an hour long conversation with your husband every day? Yes. Oh boy. And you're telling me Daniel doesn't work? <laughs> That's a job and a half. <laughs> I've had a day. Coming up. The Clippers, they have this promotion. If an opposing player misses two free throws back to back, the entire arena gets a free chicken sandwich. Rocket center Boban Marjanovic, he intentionally misses the second no. free throw. No. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. are getting excited here. Rocket center Boban Marjanovic is a man of the people. So the Clippers, they have this promotion. If an opposing player misses two free throws back to back in the fourth quarter, the entire arena gets a free chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. So he misses the first, and I don't think he missed the first on purpose, but once he finally had missed the first, he intentionally misses the second no. free throw. No. Boban's playing with the crowd and you want chicken? Here's your job! Oh, he gave him chicken! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Well, wait a minute, let me, what was the score of the game when this happened? Uh, they were winning by like 10. It's a meaningless game because it was the last game of the season and they're already out of the playoffs. Oh, he's so lovable. <laughs> he yeah. is, he's great. What a smart idea. Although, that costs a lot of money. You have to assume that every person is gonna turn in their voucher. Well, that's true. How many times do you go, oh, I have a voucher, and then you get there and you forgot? No, that's totally true. And also, nobody wants to wait in line. Oh, I would. <laughs> that guy's like collecting tickets in the outside. You want that ticket? Yeah. You want that ticket? Why did I think of that? 